Hello everyone and welcome to the Ingles Table. I am Michael McMurtry and today I am going to be showing you how to make some delicious mushroom sausage rolls. I got everything I needed for my local Ingles so let's get started. First thing I wanted to tell you is um, we're trying to sort of mimic and play with the flavors of sausage and the holidays. Um, so we're going to be using those kinds of spices and flavors. This, um, a lot of people don't know, this is a fennel. So it has kind of an anise licorice taste. It's something you will taste in, in sausage uh, with, uh, they'll use fennel seed when they're making sausage. And so that's where we're going to get that flavor. And if you've never seen one before or cooked with one, I just want to show you real quick what I do and how I prepare it. Cut the fronds off and then there's a big bulb down here. So I just cut the whole thing in half. And then you'll see there's kind of a root end right in here. We're going to try to get rid of that. So I'll cut it now into the quarters. And I just take my knife and I sort of, at an angle, I sort of just cut that little root out like that. And that, that's a little uh, too tough when you cook it so it doesn't work well. And then I just go through and I, and I slice it real thin like that. Fortunately, I already have some done. And that's right here. And then um, leeks. You all familiar with a leek? It looks like a huge green onion. Um, I chop that really fine and leeks are grown in sand. So you really, really want to take the time to get them clean. And a lot of people will just cut them down the lengthwise and then rinse them under the sink. I, I don't find that that's as good. What I do is I cut them completely and then I throw them into a colander or um, some kind of strainer and I rinse them under the water just to make sure there's no sand because you don't want to bite into any sand when you're eating. So now you've got your fennel and your uh, leeks. I'm going to throw that into some hot oil that I've got in there and we're going to start cooking that. Give it a good toss, coat the oil all around it. And then while that's cooking, I'm going to start working on my mushrooms. Let's put that here. So. When I'm, uh, oh, by the way, keep these fronds. Well, I'll show you why later. So I like to do entertaining at home and I like to keep my cutting boards like without the chop line. So I always just turn it over. It's like a logo on the back, just cut on the back. So all my cutting's done on the back, just a little tip. Um, for our mushrooms, you know, getting uh, exotic mushrooms is, can be a little pricey. So I sort of cut and I do half and half or a quarter and a half. So these, these have, uh, uh, morels and shiitakes and um, different kinds of mushrooms along with the regular mushrooms you're used to. And I'm just going to give those a, a chop. And these just very roughly, you don't have to worry about it. But just keep chopping them until you start seeing some color on the leeks and fennel in the oil. Let me turn that up a little bit. So just chop that up. There's no real right or wrong way. Um, this dish is really good for people who um, are plant-based, vegan, vegetarian. Uh, a lot of times during the holidays, they get forgotten. Um, and so this is a way to give them something that's substantial it makes them feel a little special. Um, and you can also, what's great, is make a little bit extra of this and you can freeze the uncooked ones. And they're really great for like a New Year's get together to hand them out as little snacks. So there's a lot of ways to do it. So this is pretty good. We could chop it a little more, but I'm just gonna put it in now. So you take your mushrooms now you want to get a, a kind of a caramelization on these leeks and onions. We're going to pretend that that's like that. And now we're going to add our mushrooms in there. And then we want to add some liquid into here. And white wine is the best thing to do. So I'm just going to add about a half a cup of white wine. That's going to provide some liquid and it's going to give a lot of flavor to everything. And you just want to keep cooking this until all the liquid absorbs. So keep doing that. I'm going to cut up, some, chop up some walnuts. Walnuts 
give a nice um, meaty flavor to any type of dish where you're trying to sort of give a substantial, almost meat-like taste to a dish. Uh, I, I have a, a faux meat, ground meat recipe that uses walnuts and rice and cauliflower and it's, you season it up and it tastes like uh, a ground meat. It's really nice. So you're gonna chop up these walnuts. You're gonna add them to the mix. All right, and then we're gonna add a good dose of salt and pepper. I really like a lot of black pepper. I think it adds a lot of flavor. Add as much as you like. And some salt. Don't be scared of the salt on this. Uh, sausage is generally a salty product, so you don't wanna have a lack of flavor. And then this is a really cool little twist, is some Dijon mustard. Just, just about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And now you just stir this all around. And you wanna cook this until all the liquid has evaporated and it's caramelized. And I don't know if you can smell it, it's starting to smell amazing. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna keep doing that. Now what you wanna do is bring that to um, a caramelized, caramelized state, and then what we're gonna, we need to bring it to room temperature. So, fortunately, I already have that done. We're gonna put this to the side, finish it up later, and I'm gonna show you what the next step is. The next step, we wanna get a bowl, like so, and here's my mixture that I have cooled down overnight. You don't have to do it overnight, just get it to at least room temperature because you're gonna be putting it on a puff pastry and you don't want it to start getting gloopy. So now you've got your mixture here and we wanna start adding some things. We've got some panko breadcrumbs. We've got some garlic. We've got a mixture of parsley, uh, oregano and sage to bring out those autumnal winter holiday flavors. And then these are, remember I talked about the fronds. These have a lot of flavor in them. Kind of like dill has a lot of flavor, they look like dill. So I cut them up and then I chop them and I add that in there as well. And then we wanna stir that up, get that really nice and combined. And this is gonna be our sausage mixture. The panko crumbs are gonna be great because they, they'll, they'll soak up any unwanted liquid so that the sausage roll's not uh, liquidy. You don't wanna do that. So, and then you have a mixture like this. Now if you, I like it a little more on the chunky side, but if you want it um, more like a sausage texture, you can throw this in the food processor and get it down to a really sausagey texture. Okay, so now we have our mixture. I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna grab my puff pastry. All right, so what we wanna do first is cut this lengthwise right down the middle. Okay, and then we're gonna get our mixture and we're going to create a ribbon of sausage. Right down sort of the one half of it, leaving some edges. Just get in there with your hands. Not a clean meal, but your hands are clean, so you can do what you want. All right, so now just sort of form that into a roll, like so. And then you're gonna take, and we're gonna brush some kind of uh, liquid to get this to seal. Um, you can use um, some kind of alternative milk, or I'm using um, this faux egg mixture that Ingalls sells. And I'm just gonna rub that along the edge here. 
both sides. Put this down. I'm gonna get the bowl out of the way and show you. So now I leave this under here. We bring it up and we're gonna go over. Ugh. We're gonna go over and we wanna meet the other end like so and then push down just to sort of seal it. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna do this on the other side. Again, we're gonna brush with the egg, the faux egg. Or alternative milk, like uh, oat milk or soy milk, almond milk. Something that's not sweetened. You just don't wanna have sugar in it. There's no reason for it. All right, and now we're gonna roll this way. And again, seal the edges here. Okay, so now you wanna take your fork and we wanna just sort of, just seal up. Make sure it's nice and sealed before we bake it. And then we're gonna do this side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these into, into quarters. So the best way to do that is start by cutting right in the middle. And then cut half again. It's an easy way to get your little sausage rolls to be even. And then we're gonna transfer these to a parchment lined baking sheet and put them in the oven at 400 and bake them. Oh, right before, I forgot to do that. Right before you do that, you're gonna drizzle some sesame seeds right on top, which adds a nice little nutty flavor. There you go. And get the, um, get the ones that aren't already toasted gonna get toasted in the oven. All right, and then we're gonna transfer these carefully to our parchment. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up and pour them in the oven and we'll be back, I'll show you the finished product. All right, I just got these out of the oven. They smell amazing. They look beautiful. Thanks so much for joining me here at the Ingalls Table. Be sure to check out the website for more tips, tricks, and recipes. I'll see you next time. <laughs>